Hello everybody, welcome back to this new video. So last Friday I got an email from Thingspace Education and it informed me about this wonderful film scoring competition. A link is in the description and I liked the idea because it really comes from heart. It took me two days to decide if to participate or not because there is no big chance for me to win this. But on the other side, it will be my first competition to participate and it will bring me one step closer to my big dream. So if you like videos about film scoring, about music, about gear, about Logic Pro from a beginner's side of view, this might be the right channel for you. So why not? Um, please subscribe and follow me on my journey. So from what I remember from the old days, if you score for a movie, you have to have a word with the producer or with the director to get an idea of what they want. But whatever they want, you find it in their description and then you just watch at the movie a lot, a lot of times to get into the right mood and to decide where you would like to change the tempo, where you would like to place a boom, where you would like to maybe mock up a little more the, the whole orchestration. Um, so this is what I did already. And now we will go into Logic and I will show you the fantastic tools of markers and of beat mapping that then will allow you to place your music exactly to the pictures where it needs to be. Let's start. Okay, so the first thing to do obviously is to import the movie into Logic and for these cases I have um, a small template uh, which has just to sketch up the most common orchestral instruments and then you just go to um, movie, open movie, you choose the movie wherever you have it on your hard drive in my case you know i have it here then it just asks you know if you want to open the movie if you want to have the audio track then it might ask you about the frame rate and about the sample rate and there we are there is the movie okay which obviously i saw already and um, i know for this video now where I would like to place only two markers to show you how to do it for my final track which I hopefully find the time to finish it um, I don't know how many I will place I, I still need to see this and there is even a handy tool um, if you go to navigate others that logic might from a movie make you with every scene change automatically a scene marker. But I tried it here and only on this short clip it gave me around 100 markers, which is made too much. Um, I think I will go with 10 markers or something like this. So, okay, once the movie is imported and then obviously, you know, when, when you start, you have the, the movie here in the movie window. Um, you have to open up the global tracks where I see here already movie. Then you need the markers and you need the tempo and you need the beat mapping. So you need to see all these things. I will make the movie a little bigger. And for the tempo, I think I might start with the tempo around 95, which is quite a, a slow pace for the beginning. So I set the, the tempo to 95. Then I go through the movie and I remember that you know, there's this big giant from the forest which gives the crystal to the girl and then um, spring awakens and the demons of the winter, they retire um, up to the mountains and then happens this one scene where the crystal falls to the floor and this will be where I would like to place my first marker. So if you just listen to it... <coughs> boom! There, exactly there, I would like to have my first marker. So there are two possibilities. Or you open up here the marker window and then you go to option and you say um, place a new marker. There are two possibilities, you know, just place or ply, place without rounding. Important is without rounding because if you round it, it gets onto a beat, but you don't need it on a beat, you need it exactly on the picture. And um, which is quite easier if you go here to the marker track, you just push the plus and um, there is your first marker so if we see here see if it is <coughs> boom exactly it's exactly where I want it 
so I can get here to the markers and then I just say um, to this marker maybe crystal falls okay so we have this marker done then we continue in the movie um, we go a little to the end where the girl nearly gets crushed okay should be around here exactly exactly there it is there's the scene so she's already safe a little before <coughs> donk exactly with this donk i would like to have my next marker i push plus again and then i said to this marker okay girl nearly gets crushed Okay, so I have my two markers. Important now, if I change the tempo now, you see the markers are not anymore at the picture where they need it to be. Because obviously the markers at the moment, they are locked to the grid of logic, but I need them locked on the picture. So I take my tempo back to 95, so the markers are exactly <laughs> donk, where I needed them and then you have to lock these um, markers you go to options uh, just select them exactly and then here you have two possibilities one is lock it to the SMPTE position SMPTE is a time code from the Society of Movie Pictures and Television Engineers. The other one is scene markers, converted in scene markers. It's pretty the same. So I will convert it into scene markers. And the good thing now is if I change my tempo now, the markers won't move away from the picture anymore. They are blocked to the picture. And now I have to bring my logic map to these markers. This is the beat mapping then and this is what we'll do now because if you think about it you wouldn't like to have a boom or a silence or whatever exactly on a beat like one two three four boom exactly on the one and um, this is what you do with beat mapping so I have my tempo of 95 at the beginning and where the crystal falls the whole movie starts to change in pace. It gets more hectic. Um, I would like to have a faster speed then. And I see that the marker Crystal Falls at the moment is at 26 to 486. I would like to have it exactly on 26. So I select the marker. If you select the marker, then here in beat mapping, you get this tiny little line and you get the name of the marker and then I just click on bar 26 here and I drag it to Crystal Falls. You see there is this small line showing up and if I let go the mouse now, zack, I have Crystal Falls exactly at 26. Let's have a listen to it without the sound of the movie with the metronome on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom! You see exactly on the one now, I can have a boom, I can have a swish, I can have simply silence. Um, this is what I wanted. I even knew that now my tempo needs to speed up, so I will click here to get a tempo marker. And then the tempo obviously changed to 93 because I moved the grid of logic. From there on, I will go with tempo 105 around. So even here, if you listen to it, you have one, two, three, four, boom, two, three, four, and it's faster now. Let's go to the other marker that I created, which is the girl nearly got crushed, which is at 44, two, three. Obviously, I want it exactly at 44. I click again at 44. I drag it to this buck, and I have it exactly on 44. One, two, three, four, boom. And then here on 44, I will take the tempo down to 95 again. What happened to the tempo here? 
it's 103, not the 105 that I wanted, but it should be fine the same. I mean, here, for this purpose, we're quite lucky because we have only two markers to show. I was working on a trailer recently where I had a hectic scene, then I had a boom, and then the scene continued, and the boom, the silence, lasted exactly one yes, a second, so I needed to create a marker, then this one second and then the next marker and then fit it that I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the speed there was then 240, but you can do it. Uh, it's fantastic. You see, I have now my markers exactly. I can switch on the sound again where I need them. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, this is speed mapping in Logic. This is what you need when you would like to write music to picture. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful for you. And yeah, think about it. Maybe even you would like to participate in this uh, competition, even just for, for learning purpose like, like me. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.